Well, this week in Jupiter, Florida, it was not King Me, it was Queen Me. Carolyn Gordon Ballard, the daughter of Alyssa Ballard, winning the first ever installment of the Royal Family Edition <laughs> of the King of the Lanes. Rob Stone, yep. Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler in just a moment here as we fire up the PBA post show presented by Kia. We go back to Monday night and there was all this talk about the Troop family and how entertaining it was to see Guppy finally returned to the lanes. They were your quote unquote reigning kings of the lane yeah. of the family edition, sure. but it was the Barnes family that stormed that castle <laughs> and kept running rampant through yeah. through the territory until they ran into the Queens. Yeah, and the, the one phrase that comes to my mind is uh, the late great Freddie Mercury when he went out yeah. to Wembley and they did that live aid, and, and, live aid and, and he said, Her Majesty, the Queen. And it was all about the queens. We got we got two queens. We got three queens. If you really want to get yeah. technical here, all right. So let's go back to Monday night. Our opening match. Remember this one? Remember how long ago this was? Yeah. Chris Barnes needed two in the tenth to take care of Team Malat. Did just that. Yes. Stepped up, and that was five in a row to finish late to knock out Wes and Jordan. So that took them to the final match, where it was Kyle and Guppy Troop in their way, and. You know, the Barnes crew, Brian and Chris, doing what they do best. Yeah, it wasn't close, but man, how entertaining was that to get another glimpse at that man right there, Gup. Yep. So, there you go. New kings of the lanes. Tuesday night, the Barnes continued their reign. But first, they would find out who they would meet. Would it be the Russell family or the Smallwood family? How good did Caden look? Pretty good. Pretty good. These teenagers got some heat. They would win 238 to 160, but could not get enough of Brady. No, no, he, he stole the show that night. But more from the Barnes here as they defended their crown against the Russells. 267, 242 the final. Again, Chris needing a late double. He does just that. So the crowns are retained and stay with the Barnes. They're getting awfully comfortable with them. All right, would they hold on to them at the last moment? Carolyn Gordon Ballard, huge in the 10th. Needed two and nine, got all three, tripping that four nine to take down Parker and Brandon Bone. And a shocker. And, and then a, they, they made it look easy in the final match. Yeah. Alyssa dialed in. Five ten pins would be the undoing for the Barneses, but Carolyn once again steps up in the tenth, needing a mark. What does she do? She throws two and nine for a 248, 217 win. Throw the crowns out. Let's start handing out tiaras. I wonder yeah. how they're going to travel back home to Texas with those. Listen, I don't think they're ever going to take those tiaras off. Let's find out if they still got them on. Kimberly standing by with our queens. I can confirm they do still have their crowns on because uh, the Queens reign supreme tonight. And uh, Carolyn, you said during the show that you did not want to disappoint Alyssa, but Alyssa, during the break, you said you had to make up after that first throw. Why is that? Um, I also did not want to disappoint her. I definitely think the first frame was definitely nerves. Um, once I got settled in a little bit more, I felt a lot more comfortable. I just kept thinking to myself, you know what to do, so just go ahead and go out and do it, and that's what I ended up doing. How special is this win for you and your mom? Oh, it is definitely special because we don't bowl eat, like together a lot in general, so to be able to do this together is awesome. And how about you, Carolyn? She was just saying the fact that this is the first time that you guys have bowled together. And what does this moment mean to you? You guys are walking away the queens. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's very special, and it's true. She usually bowls like the youth adult tournaments or something with her dad. So this was a unique opportunity. And again, we just focused on, hey, we're going to have fun. I know we're probably the underdogs, but we're just going to try to fill frames. And again, you know, we made some good shots when we had to. She set me up every game. Can't ask for more than that. So now she's got one TV show under her belt. She's ready to go. <laughs> It was a unique opportunity indeed, but you know, even more than that, it was a really special moment for mother and daughter. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. 
you know, Rob, Carolyn might might have said that, you know, may, maybe people thought we were the underdogs coming in, but I, I promise you there was one person that did not think they were an underdog. That's Carolyn. Mm -hmm. She's never the underdog. Ne she never yeah, thinks she's an underdog. Yeah, she's an, that underdog's got some bite. Let yeah. me tell you about that. More PBA King of the Lanes coverage coming your way tomorrow night, 9 Eastern on FS1 as we fire up the OG version of the PBA King of the Lanes, your reigning king, Jason Sterner, back to defend his crown. That wraps it up for the PBA Post Show presented by Kia. We will see you tomorrow night, 9 Eastern on FS1.